What's up guys? As I promised you, we are back with a follow-up um, on the video that I did, I did previously about the three <coughs> levels of your gear or you set up your gear and everything. And again, first of all, let me say, I might don't remember everything and the name of the stuff. I'm apologize if I'm getting old, but anyway, just to give you an idea, um, the first level doesn't have much to say about mine. I'm going to have a friend with me today. Mike is going to show you his, which is actually more complete. Mine is not even set up at all yet and then on the second level actually I might have be able to give you more inputs because most of mine actually really set up like we said before the first level is something you keep with you uh, as for example your ADC stuff is the first level or if you have a, a regular belt with a couple of pouches that's the first level mm, or something like this at the first level some suspenders this one are ATS with some belt combat belt uh, again ATS really comfortable uh, by the way and something you keep always with you. So if you're normally wearing a chest rig, which can be an, uh, another option with it, or a backpack, worst case scenario, you drop your backpack, you remove your chest rig, you want to be a little more um, free in your movement, you're perfectly fine. You can probably take a class two or whatever. You got two, get extra mags for primary harm, secondary harm, and other stuff. But anyway, without any further waste of time, I'm gonna go ahead and say what I got, what I got going on. As I said, as I said before, <coughs> we have uh, the ATS suspenders. Those are multicam. They're really comfortable. They are uh, wide enough to keep your weight on your shoulders, uh, balance, and, and they're really nice. Um, they're also got a company that makes them, like um, uh, AKSG or some other company. Um, even some work suspenders are fine. Or you can even use a regular Ellis system, which is totally fine. Old school is totally fine. And um, Going down, we have a, a combat belt or padded belt made by ATS. Um, I do believe uh, you can upgrade the, the belt per se. You can buy one with a cobra buckle if you want to. It's a really nice uh, setup, really comfortable actually on your waist. Um, it's not the cheapest gear ever, but like my wife says, buy the good one. <laughs> so it lasts forever or almost forever. And going um, on the left, we got two Taco uh, uh, EK, um, SKD pouches, those are in Multicam, and you can use any magazine on them. Um, again, they're not the cheapest solution, but I really like them, they're really comfortable. You can use AK, ARs, 47, um, they're really, you know, adaptable. So, going on the back, I think there is a cheap knife which i might uh, substitute with um, a different one a little bit bigger a bigger blade maybe on the back again i think there is a medical uh, i think it's made by emdon a little medical pouch with a sheath source and the basic stuff you know for emergency uh there might be a tourniquet too you know basic stuff uh right over here on the back again made by ats it is a thumb pouch made of a really nice material normally they're rigid this one is actually really soft to make it a little bit easier to uh, roll roll out and uh, you can put your spent uh, spend magazine when you're you know doing your training class or whatever going on the back right over here the last one is made by eagle that's an old school uh, multicam um, canteen pouch which i converted for um use with the uh, nanjin bottles or you can put some gloves um in this case there's a sling or a hat or something you you might need during the class bandana you know if you're sweating or something like that um and last but not least, I know the color doesn't match, but who cares? <laughs> the Condor uh, triple uh, uh, pistol mag pouch, which is plenty, give you plenty of extra magazine, and for your pistol, primary, uh, or you can put a multi tool and two pistol magazines. Um, and like I said, that's pretty much a quick idea of uh, what I like to use and how I like to set it up. I'm gonna let Mike go in ahead. His stuff is brand new, so bear with him. And uh, he's gonna give you his point of view. So why don't you go come on, Mike, and just go ahead. Hey there, how you doing? Uh, starting off from the, with the belt, I got this belt on Amazon. I don't remember who makes it. It's, you know, your standard Riggers belt, Cobra buckle. 
55 bucks, something like that. Works out pretty well, real rigid, high quality. Coming around to the right, we have a Blackhawk drop leg system with the level two Serpa. Of course, we are unloaded. Say what you want about the Blackhawk Serpa system. I like it, it works for me, that's okay. Behind the Glock, the Glock 22, we have a Gerber Ghost Strike, just because the holes for the mounting for the Ghost Strike and that lined up, so I said, what the hell, let's put it on there. Coming around one step further, we got the Mini K-Bar fighting knife. I know it has a different name, but I don't remember what that name's called. Just for, you know, never hurts to have a knife or two. Coming around again, we have the IFAC by uh, Spartan Armor Systems. Got it online not too long ago. They had a sale going on. Came fully stocked. Got cell locks, uh, Israeli bandages, gauze, shears, a SWAT T tourniquet, everything you need. The one thing I did pick up that did not come with that was the Cat T tourniquet. I prefer the use of those over the SWAT T, but it never hurts to have two. Coming over one more time, we got the Double Pistol Taco by HSGI. Got two two Glock 22 mags in there with Ranger plates. Then coming over one more one more uh, section, we have the Double Decker Taco by HSGI. In the front, I keep just a cheap Gerber multi-tool. I'm gonna eventually put probably a Leatherman Mutt or the OHT in there. I just don't have the money to afford one of those. And then we also have a standard M4 magazine with also Ranger plate. Say what you want about Ranger plates, I like them. They're, I like them with gloves, you can grab them easier. I got something to grab onto, and if you're doing reloads, you can put, you can hook them in your fingers, and you don't have to use your whole hand to hold onto the magazine. Uh, that's about it. If Fabrizio has anything else he'd like to say. No, it looks good. I mean, right. again, it's, um, you got two different school. My stuff is based on a previous experience, and everything I have and I own, you guys know, except for 10% uh, of my gears, mostly like, uh, yeah, ancient five or six years old but again uh like i always said even if it's not like a new product like why was mike was showing you even if it's some old stuff uh, you find comfortable with there's nothing wrong with that it's also a matter of budget you know some people have more money and you know than others i mean but i think um i always say is buy a ammo don't buy 75 rifle if you don't have enough money for buy ammo or extra magazine uh if you have to buy gear don't buy 75 different setup just have one that works for you and um but i i would say that's good i would like to thank mike for coming and show you his gear which it might be guest for something else who knows or it might be helping show in the second level one of these days because it's gonna take a couple of hours probably <laughs> well you know i'll uh, thank you for watching if you have any suggestion if you want to know anything feel free to contact me or i go through and uh, ask mike too through me if you need anything else uh just let me know and i'll see you next time bye bye